I did not even stop my recordings. Morning, everybody. What's going on? I am out here testing out pretty much all of my winter gear. Well, not all of my winter gear, but the majority of it. <coughs> I got the Axle uh, one piece suit or one piece inner base lining. I got that on. I've got the Axle Blackova, if that's how you pronounce it. And I also have. There's a, I guess an axle pullover type of shirt. It's also heat gear. So I have that on. I just have on regular socks. Um, I just have on regular socks. And I just have on regular boots. And I don't have my winter lining. <laughs> the only thing I don't have is for my digits. Uh, so, I'm going to find out how much of this I can actually take um, before I have to call it quits on my digitals because I couldn't find them. I bought them. I saw the bag at the house, but I don't know where I put them. I don't know. I mean, it's lost. <laughs> so, I may have to go get another pair. Uh, from cycle gear. I may go there actually but I'm really just out here kind of riding and testing because as you can see this car pulls out in front of me um, I am riding in about 42 degrees Fahrenheit so you add wind chill on top of that and you could guess that it's right at about the freezing point uh, so yeah it, it could get cold really quick especially for my digits uh, so we'll see how that affects me here and uh, we'll go from there but so far um, I am feeling chilled because I don't have I didn't wear my leathers so I have my I have my Dainese I have my Dainese Air Ones on Air One uh, mess jacket on and so yeah uh, <laughs> it's letting uh, uh, quite a bit of air through uh, so that's that and so this is kind of I mean, it's going to be a pretty true test of how well this uh, one piece from Axel holds up and all the base layers for uh, uh, keeping warm holds up. So far, it's not too bad. Like I said, I'm not going to be going at highway speeds or anything like that. And so, so far, so good. Um, I'm just worried about my fingers honestly and man everything is so daggone tight oh like around my neck I feel like I'm choking with my black box there and then I have to tighten my helmet and then I have an actual just an actual sweater up underneath actually like a, uh, a hoodie I just have like a regular hoodie up underneath this jacket just to kind of help uh, basically build layers right I'm just kind of building layers and so like my jacket is like really like stretched to its limits uh, if you see that button right there on my arm hopefully you can see it that's usually buttoned but I had to unbutton it because like again I have the actual one piece the pullover shirt and my sweater which is pretty thick and then obviously the jacket on top right so I I am pretty much kind of stretching this to the limit and my other gloves would not fit over this jacket the way it's designed because the, the cuff is too big 
and so the opening on the other uh, like other sedici gloves would not fit so i had to wear these alpines and <laughs> as you can tell these alpines are not designed for cold weather riding because there's it's perforated it it lets in all sorts of air so i'm feeling pretty much every bit of that 30-ish degree weather right now so yeah um uh i will be touching the engine uh obviously when i'm stopped or something like that to try to warm up my hands properly but yeah uh it's cold <laughs> for me it's cold uh and so like again i'm just testing out all of my gear that i have right and so i need to make sure if i'm riding if, if uh, i decide to ride year round then either one the gear i have is sufficient which i'm gonna say that if it's anything like this if it continues to be anything in the 42 degree range and then me getting on the bike like this it's not going to be sufficient for long time running or long time riding uh, maybe around town maybe like an hour or so that's it i would say i would put myself at about an hour or so maybe if i got some glove liners there it's possible that i ride just a little bit longer because my digits are staying warm but other than that yeah i wouldn't go too much longer because it's just really cold it really is cold my body feels fine honestly like right now my chest area to my legs um my my feet for right now they feel okay because i'm not going at speed i'm not sustaining highway speeds right and so i'm having a chance to get capture some of this warmth off of the sun so it kind of helps offset for my core temperature to help offset it a little bit and warm it up but again my main worry really is these things right here uh, because obviously where these things go i can't control the bike um, especially on the brake lever portion of it right so well i could re i could use the rear brakes but they're it's not ideal so i'm just gonna ride a little bit more and see how i feel and then um i may i may stop by over there at cycle gear just to see uh what they have so i'll see you guys here in a little bit I did not even stop my recording. So here I am, um, I'm at Cycle Gear. <laughs> and so I had to get some, some liners. All right, so I am done with Cycle Gear. As I showed you earlier, I did decide to go ahead and go over there and get some glove liners because my fingers are just getting frozen. So I had to go get some so so far so good definitely not as cold as they were um but i mean it's still not going to stop the cold from getting to you especially if you ride for a while 
but I'm not gonna be riding too long like I said I'm just out here trying to test out the gear to see how it feels and so far the gear is holding up for what it is I said it's 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 not heated any of none of my gear that I have on is heated it's just basically layers right it's just it's just your axle thermal layers and stuff like that so it's nothing heated and for what it is I think that it does a really good job for short riding uh, like I said I wouldn't I wouldn't go to the mountains with this because it's just I mean it's colder in the mountains and so riding on the highway at sustained speeds it would be uh, it would still be pretty chilly but for kind of just riding around town like what I'm doing right now um, stop and go sort of uh, I'll, again like I said earlier allowing the sun to kind of heat your body up to then I think it's doable and like I said I think it works just fine man like, I mean I've, I've been riding around for a little bit here and so it, what I can tell it, it's gonna work just fine for today now if we're talking about like I mean if you're it's a if the ambient air is already like 30 something degrees then and when you, when you add in wind chill I mean you're looking like 20s so I would think that at that point this particular these particular pieces of gear that I have on would be inadequate to keep you warm for I would say even a short run like what I'm doing today and so I would definitely if you're going to like actually ride in like cold cold weather um <coughs> especially in the south here it, we don't have snow but we do have cold weather i know that northern uh, states is probably hard because it's going to be snowing ice all that all that mess so you're probably not going to ride but for those who can ride in the winter then if you're riding anywhere between uh, the 30 ambient air about 30 even in the high 30s i mean you're you're looking at it being really really cold when you add in like wind chill factor and stuff like that so if you're going to ride in that kind of weather then yeah for sure i would recommend getting like heated gear like actual heated gear so that way you're not like stiff because you got so many layers on and try to keep warm and so it prevents you from um, good mobility on the motorcycle and evasive maneuvers on the motorcycle if you're kind of I mean if you're just too layered up and you're too thick you can't move so it does in a sense provide a level of safety by just getting actual heated gear um, to keep your core and your hands and, your st uh, and stuff like that warm obviously people can get like heated grips and stuff like that that helps but that really just in, in a sense it kind of helps just your palm so the top of your hand is going to still get kind of cold depending on how cold the weather is but uh, yeah again that's all prep work that you have to do if you're going to actually decide to ride in winter right but listen if it's like this because like I said, it's like 42, 44. So if it's weather like this, and you have kind of what I have on, then I think you'd be just fine. I think you'd do just fine. Because like I said, and especially in stop and go traffic like this, where the sun kind of helps you, then yeah, you'd be good. I'm going to call it good, man. Gonna do it for today's video. Once again, I appreciate you guys coming along. If this is your first time clicking on that video, watching to the end, go ahead and hit that sub button. Go ahead and hit the like, and go ahead and share this content out to everybody you know, so that we can keep bringing you this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Peace out.